टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज ग्राफ थ्योरी इन ग्राफ थ्योरी विल डिस्कस सिंगल सोर्स शॉर्टेस्ट पाथ दैट इज डिकास्ट्रा एलगोरिदम दैट इज डिकास्ट्रा एलगोरिदम सो इफ आई एम नॉट रॉन्ग इट्स आर टेंथ वीडियो इट्स आर टेंथ वीडियो ऑन ग्राफ थ्योरी सो इट्स आर टेंथ वीडियो ऑन ग्राफ थ्योरी विल विल डिस्कस सिंगल सोर्स शॉर्टेस्ट पाथ यूजिंग डिकास्ट्रा एलगोरिदम एंड विल सॉल्व द क्वेश्चन अगेन एंड अगेन एंड इन एवरी वीडियो आई एम सेइंग आई एम फॉलोइंग आई एम फॉलोइंग द रिवर्स इंजीनियरिंग आई एम डिस्कसिंग क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट एंड देन आई एम डिस्कसिंग द एलगोरिदम सो इन दिस video will discuss how to solve question using dicastro algorithm and then we'll uh, discuss the algorithm dicastro algorithm so what is single source shortest path so let me explain you what is single source shortest path so suppose you are suppose uh, you are in uh, us and from there you have to go to britain and suppose uh, from us you have to go to australia and suppose from us you have to go to uh, russia and suppose from us you have to go to india so uh, in every time i'm using a word us that is source single so us to britain us to australia us to russia us to india that is so single source shortest path so you have to find out the shortest path from the single source that is from us only from us only considering only one node which is a source node fine so this is how you will solve the question that is single source shortest path so let understand the question uh, de castro algorithm so let's see the definition of de castro the de castro algorithm finds the shortest path so de castro algorithm finds the shortest path very important from a particular node from a particular node you will be always given a node from which from where you have to find a single from where you have to find the shortest node called the source node which is called the source node every other node is is connected graph in a connected graph fine it produces shortest path tree it produces shortest path tree with source node as root so uh, what uh, what is the final result of dicastra it produces a tree uh, having a node as source node fine it is profoundly used in computer networks it is actually used in computer networks to generate the optimal route whenever you want to you know create a, a computer network route then you have always you always find for a uh, for a optimal route suppose you uh, suppose a company or organization uh, vodafone is uh, you know uh, establishing a lines you no know, telephone lines or internet lines so they always look for a uh, minimum path so uh, which method uh, they can use the dicastra method so dicastra algorithm in dicastra algorithm again the same thing if you have seen my prims video again you have input that is a graph representing a network and source s you have a given you have given a graph which is representing a network and source node from where you have to start output will be a shortest path tree where s is the root fine then you initialize a single source initialize source with zero and all other with infinity this is what we have already discussed so again i am saying if you are directly watching this video kindly watch prints first it will be easy if you are not interested watch this video i'll, I'll explain everything very clearly fine where you represent the node of graph again see i'm if i'm reading all those things this is become typical for you to understand what am i doing what what is all about so i'll explain you an array queue containing all the node of the graph so uh, let's not read all this thing let's solve the question and after that we'll read it will become very easy so let's start with solving the question you have given a graph and you have given a graph and you have given a source a fine that is you have to find the minimum path from a to b from a to d from a to c from a to e fine okay then what you did you have initialized a with zero and all other node with infinity this is called single source this is called single source which i have already explained you that initialize source from where you have to start with zero that is initialize the vertex uh, from where you have to start with zero and all other vertex with infinite fine okay now you will make a matrix now matrix in matrix what you do what you do you insert all the node how many node you have five node a b c d e you have inserted all the five node in a queue you have inserted all the five node in a queue now what is your current situation that node a is having zero and all other are having infinite weight i'm talking of node not of edge now first step is saying extract minimum q this we have already solved in prims what is the minimum over here a so you have extracted node a and you add that node in a uh, suppose you are adding that node in a in a set called s so you have added node a and you have removed node a from this you no know? again fine now on no on deleting node on extracting node a find out adjacent of node a so what are adjacent of node a this and this b and c are adjacent of a now you have to relax 
see i'm writing now you have to relax what you have to relax a b and you have to relax and you have to relax what ac now what is relax this is somewhat different from prims relax means relax means suppose a node a and b there is an edge having two node a and b the weight of a is 10 the weight of this edge is 5 and the weight of this is 18 now add this that is da that is da that is or key a you can say or you can say key a key a plus w of a b weight of a b length weight of a b calculate it and if this is less than key b and if this is less than key b so what is key a what is key a 10 what is w a b 5 is this less than key b 18 yes true this is less than then what you do you what you do key a plus w a b w a b assign this to key b to key to key b that is this assign this 15 to what key b so this will become 15 fine suppose suppose this is 12 so 10 plus 5 is less than 12 no now it has become false so you will not follow this step fine this node is already relaxed this node is already relaxed fine so this is what relax means this is what relax means fine so let's start let's uh, let's begin fast okay so you have made uh, this double line you know why we are making a double line double line means i am i am uh, first of who identified b a identified b who identified c a identified c so a is saying i am the parent of b and c a is saying i am the parent of b and c no fine now you have to relax so 0 plus 10 is less than infinity yes to make it 10 0 plus 3 is less than infinity yes make it 10 make it 3 fine 0 plus 3 is 3 3 is less than infinity. yes make it 3 fine so what changes took place the changes took place that b become 10 and c become 3 now again the same process extract minimum which is minimum 3 3 is what c so you extracted c you add c in s no finally you have extracted c now on removing c just find it out is there any double line in c yes so make it dark so make it dark i'm making it dark fine after making it dark find the adjacent of c what which node are adjacent to c node a is adjacent to c but we have already extracted node a so you will not say a is adjacent to c what other node are adjacent to uh, c e is adjacent to c d is adjacent to c make a double line and b is adjacent to b is adjacent to c make a double line fine so you have making a double line you have making a double line in three node b d and e as these node are as these node are adjacent to c fine so after ma making adjacent what you do just relax them so this is three this this has finally become three three plus two is five can it be less yes is this less than yes so it will become five 3 and 8 is 11 3 and 8 is 11 so 3 and 8 is 11 so what you will do you will make it 11 11 because the 11 is less so 3 and 8 is 11 now now uh, see this 3 and 4 this is 4 3 plus 4 is what 7 and this is 10 so is this 7 less than 10 yes this is 7 so now node c will ask node a since i have given a new way to node b so b is no more your child so double line will be removed from a and it will be from c to b fine okay so what changes took place b has finally become 7 fine okay d has become 11 and e has become fine 5 5 okay so now you have left with only three steps again extract minimum q which is minimum e e is minimum so you have extracted e so you have extracted e add it to s you have added to e now q have only two elements uh, which is b and d on extracting e you just check is there any double line yes there is double line make it dark now you find adjacent of e what are adjacent of e adjacent of e is d only d is adjacent only d is adjacent to only d is adjacent to e 
so uh, five now relax it five and nine is what 14 it's already 11 do it do it need any kind of relaxation no it did, did not require any kind of relaxation because it is already relaxed so there will there be will there be any kind of change no there will be no change so after you know extracting e there will be no change so or the node which we are left is seven and 11 find 7 and 11 so now again extract minimum q what is minimum 7 so what is 7 node b so finally you have extracted node b also from the q now you have left with only node d add node b to s and you know uh, after extracting what node b just find out there is any double line yes there is double line dark it just make a dark line over here I'm making a dark line over here. Now you see the adjacent of node B. Adjacent of node B is C. C is already extracted, will not change C. Now adjacent of B is D also. Now C, can you relax it? 7 plus 2 is what? 9 and this is 11. So can you relax it? Yes, this is now 9. So there will be a double line. So B will say to C that I have given a new way to node D. Now remove your line because D is my children. So this line will be removed. And finally, what changes took place? D has become 9. So D is the last node. So remove the last node D. So on removing last node D, I will add it to D. Now Q is empty. I've extracted D. Just find out is there any double line? Yes, there is double line. Since there is double line, you have you know docked it. And now find all those adjacent. All those adjacent of D are already been extracted. So we will not change anything. So finally, the graph, finally, the graph you are having, finally, the graph you are having is that. Uh, is showing this so this is the final graph which is representing the shortest mark now if you want to check check it from a to c the minimum weight required is three which is very true from a to b you the minimum rate weight required is seven why because if you go from this way you have to pay 10 rupees but if you go by this way three plus four will give you seven fine so the arrow is coming from here to here fine okay now uh, to reach node d from node a you require nine rupees that how three rupees from this side then four seven and then two fine to reach node e from a you require five rupees three two five dollar or five rupees whatever you want to say three two is what 3, 2 is 5 and this is 5. Fine. Okay. So, I have tried my level best to explain you uh, what Dicastra is working for. So, if you see uh, the final changes, so what uh, so what the th uh, graph is all about. So, Dicastra contain this vertex. The Dicastra contain this vertex. The Dicastra contain this vertex and this vertex fine so finally these are the final vertex of dicastra and if you write the weight the weight of it has become seven this has become nine this has become five and this has become three and this is zero from a to a you need zero weight zero zero dollar fine so finally this is the dicastra where you have no find out the weight so let me uh, change a color and show it to you if i change the color to blue so this is the path this is the path this 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 and and this so this is the final figure so this is the final figure this is the final figure of dicastra which is giving you a minimum shortest path single source shortest path so hope you understand uh, the method the question how to solve dicastra algorithm